Uh, it gives me immense pleasure to see you all of you this afternoon, in fact. Uh, I would like to begin my keynote address with a certain story behind why do we have to celebrate this day. Many of us must be wondering why such an importance for a little bird when we human beings are still suffering with lots of lackings and limitations. Many of us think, why do we have to celebrate for a bird? Well, a moor falcon is a raptor that belongs to the falcon family. Even me, all of us, in fact most of us, we have still yet to succeed in placing the name called Tamenglong in a global forum. But if you think this little bird, by the word Q, by the uniqueness of each migratory journey, Every year, it starts its migration from somewhere around Siberia or China. It flies for about 30,000 kilometers all the way to South Africa and then back to where it started annually. The point I'm trying to make here is that out of all the places in the globe, this little bird chose this place called Tamanglong to be one of his roasting sites. Every year in the mid of October, this bird visits our very important places in this district and they roost here. They rest here and then they make a transition in this place. And because of that, the name Taminglong has been encarved, has been placed in the global history of world life, wildlife conservation. And we must be grateful for that. And that is the reason why we celebrate this festival. However, despite of the significance, these little birds are not safe, have not been safe, and still not safe today. In the past, there has been incidents of killings against the law. We had not been very welcoming to this bird. We had not been very kind. Which is why in the year 2016-17, we started celebrating the first Amur Falcon Festival with a motive to conserve and to protect and to welcome this bird. And with the continuous efforts and collaborative efforts of all concerned, and especially the villagers of the southern village where these birds come in roost, the conservation effort has been successful at large. I'm very proud to say that this year we have not seen we have not witnessed a single incident where Amur falcons are being killed and being sold openly in the market, which is, which is a drastic improvement in our effort to conservation. In the last few weeks back, there was an incident where two villagers have to fight over the conservation of this bird because some people wanted to hunt while the other people wanted to protect, which is an encouraging sign that our people are coming up, our people's eyes are opening up, and we are all ready and prepared to protect this bird. Few weeks back, we, we, in collaboration with the Wildlife Institute of India, we did geotagging, radio tagging. We put radio transmitters in two of the Amur Falcons from our place, Tamenglong. We named them Chilon 2, and the other one is Guangram. These are the code names that we've given to the two birds. And I'm very proud to say that yesterday, one of the birds, Chulon 2, had reached Somalia. From Tamenglong passing the vast geographical uh, land of India across the Arabian Sea, and it has reached Somalia. Now, setting this tone apart, I want to focus, I want you to all understand the importance of conservation of this bird. 